Hello, my name is Imran, and today I am going to show you how to program your VEX robot to allow a second joystick. This second joystick is called a partner joystick. It is specifically made to be a partner joystick and is different from your regular joystick. Its sole purpose is to allow a second person to help control the robot. Why would you want this? Well, there are advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages are 1. You can split the task. This means you don't have to worry about controlling the entire robot. For example, one person can drive and the other can operate the lift or intake system. 2. Reduce the number of buttons. In competition, it is easy to accidentally hit the wrong button, especially like buttons on channel 7 and 8, which are near the analog sticks. And 3. Discuss a game plan. With your partner, you can discuss a plan of attack. When two people are both operating the robot, each has a different perspective to compare. Now disadvantages. 1. Cooperation. You should get along with your partner without any problems. And 2. Communication. You need to communicate with your partner and work as a team. Now I'm going to show you how to program your VEX robot to allow a second joystick. Some additional stuff you, would, you will need for this is a VEX partner joystick and a coiled handset cable. The robot I am going to demonstrate is just a simple robot with two wheel drive, a lift and an intake on one motor. As you can see on my screen, first you would make a new standalone project. Next you would pick joystick project. Okay. Your screen should look like this. Open up the program flow folder. Drag the while loop under variables and I put a 1 I'm going to put it once because this will be an endless loop next I'm going to open the joystick folder and I'm going to use a tank to motor I'm going to drag it out in my while and right here where you see joystick number if you click this drop down box you can see it too now I can have it on my second joystick usually I tend to leave my drive on joystick 1 and I am left channel right channel are the analog sticks and if I my motors I'm going to pick motor 1 and motor 10 that's my drive now for my lift I'm going to drag a joystick digital to motor I'll have this on joystick number 2 this will be channel 5 and I'm going to leave my forward and reverse very values default and this will be motor number 2 now for my intake, I'm going to drag one more joystick digital to motor. Joystick number 2, channel 6. I'm going to leave my values default, and this will be motor 9. Now that I have this, I'm going to build and download, or you can hit F7. <coughs> Would you like to download the program? Yes. Now the program was successfully downloaded. Now how do you get the second partner joystick to work? Well, now you get out your partner joystick and the quilled handset cable and look and get your regular joystick out on your joysticks your partner and regular you'll see the face with the on and off switch and then you'll see some ports one port says partner you put one end of the coiled handset cable in your partner joystick and one in your regular joystick once you have done that you turn it on you turn your controllers on your cortex, on, cortex on, and you should be good to go. I really hope this video helps. Thank you.